everybody, it's me again, and welcome back to my eh, replay of Assassin's Creed 2, part number 29 or something like that. Yeah, we're heading into this next objective after trying to locate the mysterious monk who stole my apple of Eden! Son of beach. Okay, now I need to... I'm looking for someone in particular. Here we go. Who is that? Excuse me, brother. I wonder if you can... <laughs> Unholy demon! Get away! Is it the beard? What's wrong? You're You're too sinister? The one who killed Brother Stefano! Brothers, the killer of monks has returned! I did not do it! Come here, you! Hey! Hey! Come here! Come here, you! God damn it! You wanna. Madness! Where are you? Wait, which one is he? Which one am I going for? Am I going for anyone in particular? I'm obviously I'm losing him. Now that it's loaded, I'm desynchronized again because I couldn't fucking see. Great, that's fabulous. Yeah, gotcha. You made it far. I'm gonna kill you, damn it! Please, no, I don't want to die. I only kill those who kill others, and your brother Stefano was a killer. I'm sure you are no such thing. Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? Do you mean like Fra Savonarola? Savonarola. Who is this? Jinx, buy me a coke. No, I already have one. Did. He was one of us for a time. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? Oh dear. Santo Spirito in Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. Oh. I thank you. Go with God, brother. Next time, don't make me run after you, God damn it! Okay, I want to read his database before we get out of this sequence. That was sequence 12. Girolamo Savonarola, a Dominican friar from Ferrera, this man took his job seriously. He saw the excesses of his age, the rich stomping the poor into the dirt, the priests selling indulgences to the populace, and he went insane. Calling himself an instrument of God, Savonarola descended on Frenzy. His sermons sent frenzy. people into frenzies. He demanded an end to all personal property, to all progress, a return to Eden. Uh -huh. Knowledge became the enemy. And he could erase it all with the piece of Eden at his command. Books, paintings, musical instruments, he burned everything in the bonfire of the vanities. History unraveled as his legions took control, and Firenze descended into darkness. No, not into darkness! Good. As I work in the dark to serve the light. I will rise the sun back over Firenze and all of Italy. Okay, whatever. Uh, you suck. So now we're gonna head into sequence 13. Yay! Te sequence 12 and 13. We're still not done with the main story yet, but still, you know what I mean? Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Welcome back to Firenze! Signore e signori. Actually, I think this is where, uh, there's a certain Easter egg. I'm gonna see if I can find it. If I remember correctly, it might be in here somewhere. Or is it after I beat the main game? I don't remember exactly. I've seen it only once. And it was the moment when I really started to love this franchise. I'm gonna go ahead and start the memory, and then when we get into the city, I'll figure it out. Florentine fiasco. Meet up with Machiavelli in the Oltrano district of Florence. Okay. Enter Florence! I am the tourist! Fuck. Well, if Piero, Piero had only a tent, tent to be his father's father talent, we'd still have some place to call home. home. Piero? What? Oh, I was probably supposed to blend in with those monks. Well, now I'm fucked! <laughs> Damn it! That was a classic AC1 moment. I could have done it in AC2, and I missed it. Okay, I'll just follow you guys. You guys turn around. 
There we go. There we go. Oh god, there there we go. Okay, sweet. I made it into Florence. <laughs> I have to meet him on the bridge. A bridge is that way. Where is my house? That's what I'm looking for right now. Excuse me. Never should have welcomed that mad monk into the city. Look at all the misery he's wrought. Ah, you fucked up, I'd say. Also, that echo is hardcore. Don't understand why it is so easy to accept the depression. You were desperate, and therefore stupid. Uh-oh. Who wants to fight? Hey! Excuse me! I'll do it again! Who wants to get in front of us? Right, oh! I wasn't exactly what I was expecting, but I'll take it. Eh, eh. You just saved his life. More like delayed the inevitable. Hi Even with Chelly's sight of that monster, it is sorcery. How else to explain it? You're more right than you think you are. God damn it! Who wants it? Oh, hello. There is a lot of angry around me all of a sudden. Oh! I don't even know what the hell just happened there, but it was kind of cool. Come on! Seriously? There we go. Good God. Okay. Sometimes I wish the assassin would return to Kirainasa. That we that might we be fearless, fearless here. here. I'm here. A story, a story parents tell their children. children. <laughs> no, no. My, My father, father saw years ago in San Gimignano. Salve, Ezio. Salve. You picked a fine time for a homecoming. I know, right? Then it's true. Savonarola has taken control of Firenze. You didn't figure that out for yourselves. Yes. No doubt aided by that treacherous artifact. Mm -hmm. We should get to work on retrieving it. That may be more complicated than you think. <laughs> when isn't it? Why don't you fill me in on things? Walk with me. Yes, sir. It all started a few weeks ago. The man everyone once reviled was suddenly the one they worshipped. Ah, the apple. Only in part. A tool of manipulation. It's not the city he's enthralled, but its leaders. Men possessed don't of Don't go so fast. Power. They, in turn, oppress the citizens and ensure his will is done. The people act as if they have no say in the matter. Rare is the man willing to oppose the status quo. And so it falls to us to help them see the truth. Those bodies oh, bear wow. the emblem of the Borgia. Yes. The Spaniard keeps sending his soldiers into Firenze. And Firenze keeps sending them back. Usually in pieces. Then he knows the apple is here as well. An unfortunate complication. Yeah. So, oui, let's do it. Now he's following me. Good. I hate following NPCs in Assassin's Creed because they never go your pace. God! Wow! You were already after me. All right then. Eh, no, then. Eh. Screw you! Why couldn't the other one have died that fast? Okay. With me, Machiavelli. Let's go. No! I told you how much I hate you today. Allow me. All right, this way. Let's go. Palazzo Pitti. It's a nice name. I should check out the view from the roof. Why? Intended as a grand display of wealth by Luca Pitti, the Pitti Palace was left incomplete when Luca ran out of money and died in 1472. The severe Roman-style architecture is reminiscent of the craggy stone arches of the ancient imperial aqueducts found outside Rome. Ah! Yes, we see those in Brotherhood. Very interesting! Pauline, a direct assault would be dangerous. True. Especially with the apple But what other possession. option is there? Thanks for interrupting the me, city leaders, you prick. The people's minds are their own, correct? See, si. and they follow Savonarola not by choice, but force and fear. See, si. then I propose we use this to our advantage. If we can silence his lieutenants and stir up discontent, 
You will be distracted, and I will have a chance to strike. Clever. I'll speak with La Volpe and Paola. Yay! They can help to organize the uprising as you free the districts. Then it's settled. I'll take care of his abettors. Leave it to me. Unfortunately, that's probably gonna have to wait until next episode. <laughs> so, oh my god. We're gonna be busy next time. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying my playthrough, replaythrough of Assassin's Creed 2. Like and favorite if you are, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in my next video. Farewell, friends. <laughs>